In this video, we'll share 10 high-paying side hustles that you can start today. Whether you're looking for some extra cash or want to turn your passion into profit, we've got you covered. From freelance writing to virtual tutoring, we'll detail each side hustle and estimate how much money you can earn. So grab a pen and paper and let's dive into the world of side hustles. Number one, freelance writing. Freelance writing is a side hustle that involves writing content for clients on a project-by-project -project basis. To become a freelance writer, you will need to have strong writing skills, a good understanding of grammar and style, and the ability to meet deadlines. You can sign up on popular freelance websites such as Upwork, Freelancer, and Fiverr to find writing gigs. You can also reach out to local businesses and offer your services directly. Building a strong portfolio showcasing your writing skills and expertise can help you attract potential clients. The amount of money you can earn as a freelance writer varies depending on the type of writing, the client, and your experience. On average, freelance writers earn between 10 cents and $1 per word. For example, if you write a 500-word article for a client, you can earn between $50 and $500. Your earnings can also be influenced by factors such as the complexity of the project, the client's budget, and any additional services you offer, such as editing and proofreading. To be successful as a freelance writer, it's important to understand your client's needs and write content that meets their expectations. Number two, virtual tutoring. Virtual tutoring is a side hustle that involves teaching students online. To become a virtual tutor, you will need to have expertise in a specific subject and strong communication skills. You can find virtual tutoring gigs on popular websites such as Chegg and TutorMe. You can also offer your services on freelance websites like Upwork and Freelancer. Building a strong profile and showcasing your qualifications and experience can help you attract potential clients. The amount of money you can earn as a virtual tutor varies depending on the subject, your experience, and the platform you're using. On average, virtual tutors earn between $15 and $30 per hour. For example, if you tutor for 10 hours a week, you can earn between $150 and $300. Your earnings can also be influenced by factors such as the complexity of the subject, the client's budget, and your availability. To be successful as a virtual tutor, it's important to have a solid understanding of the subject you're teaching and to be able to explain complex concepts in a clear and concise manner. Building a strong rapport with your students can also lead to repeat business and positive referrals, which can increase your earnings potential over time. Number three, online store. Starting an online store is a great side hustle for those who are creative and enjoy making things. Websites like Etsy and Shopify make it easy to set up an online store and start selling your products. The amount of money you can earn from an online store varies depending on the niche, the product, and the marketing strategy. On average, successful online stores can earn anywhere from a few hundred dollars to over $10,000 per month. Number four, social media management. Social media management is a great side hustle for those who are savvy with social media. Many businesses struggle with managing their social media accounts and are willing to pay someone to do it for them. You can find social media management gigs on websites like Upwork and Freelancer. The amount of money you can earn as a social media manager varies depending on the client, the platform, and your experience. On average, social media managers earn between $15 and $50 per hour. Number 5. Pet Sitting Pet sitting is a side hustle that involves taking care of pets while their owners are away. This could include walking dogs, feeding pets, giving them medication, and providing companionship. To become a pet sitter, you will need to have experience working with animals and a love for pets. You can start by advertising your services on social media, local bulletin boards, and pet-related websites to find clients. You can also ask your friends and family if they know anyone who needs a pet sitter. Being professional and reliable when you're pet sitting is important, as word-of-mouth referrals can help you find more clients. The amount of money you can make as a pet sitter will depend on a number of factors, including the type of pets you're caring for, how long you're caring for them, and the location you're working in. In general, pet sitters can expect to earn anywhere from $10 to $50 per hour. Some pet sitters may also charge a flat fee for overnight stays or extended care. Number 6. Photography Selling Photography selling is a side hustle that involves taking photos and selling them for profit. To become a photography seller, you will need to have a good camera and a passion for photography. It's also important to have some technical skills and knowledge of photography, such as understanding exposure, composition, and lighting. To find clients, you can start by building a portfolio of your work and sharing it on social media or on a website. You can also reach out to local businesses and offer your services for events or product photography. Another option is to sell your photos on stock photography websites where you can earn royalties every time someone downloads your image. The amount of money you can make as a photography seller will depend on a
a number of factors, including the demand for your photos, the quality of your work, and the licensing agreement you have in place. In general, photography sellers can earn anywhere from a few dollars per photo to thousands of dollars for exclusive rights to their work. It's important to do your research and set fair prices for your work based on industry standards and your level of experience. Number 7. Ride-Sharing Driver Ride-Sharing is a side hustle that involves using your car to provide transportation services through platforms like Uber and Lyft. To become a ride-share driver, you will need to have a valid driver's license, a clean driving record, and access to a reliable vehicle. To find clients, you can sign up to become a driver on the ride-sharing platform of your choice and start accepting ride requests from passengers in your area. You can also increase your chances of getting more ride requests by driving during peak hours and in high-demand areas. The amount of money you can make as a ride-share driver depends on a variety of factors, including the demand for rides in your area, the distance of the rides, and the amount of time you spend driving. On average, rideshare drivers can earn between $15 and $25 per hour. If you drive for 10 hours a week, you can expect to earn between $150 and $250. However, it's important to note that your earnings as a rideshare driver may fluctuate due to factors such as competition from other drivers, changes in ridesharing company policies, and variations in demand for rides in your area. Number 8. Online Surveys Completing online surveys is a side hustle that involves providing feedback and opinions to companies and organizations through online surveys. To become an online survey taker, you will need to sign up for reputable survey websites such as Swagbucks, Survey Junkie, and others. To find survey opportunities, you must regularly check your website's dashboard for available surveys. You can also sign up for email notifications to be alerted when new surveys become available. It's important to note that not all surveys will be available to all participants, as they may have specific demographic requirements. The amount of money you can earn from online surveys varies depending on the website and the number of surveys you complete. On average, survey takers can earn between $50 and $200 per month. However, it's important to note that some surveys may offer higher payouts than others and that your earnings may also be influenced by factors such as your demographic, location, and the time you invest in completing surveys. To increase your earnings potential, you can also explore other ways to earn money on survey websites, such as participating in focus groups completing product reviews, and referring friends to the survey websites. Number 9. Freelance Graphic Design Freelance graphic design is a side hustle that involves creating visual content such as logos, advertisements, and other design materials for clients on a project-by-project -project basis. To become a freelance graphic designer, you will need to have a strong portfolio showcasing your design skills and be proficient in industry-standard design software such as Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. You can sign up on popular freelance websites such as Upwork, Freelancer, and Fiverr to find freelance graphic design gigs. You can also reach out to local businesses and offer your services directly. Networking with other professionals in the industry and attending design events can also help you find new clients and opportunities. The amount of money you can earn as a freelance graphic designer varies depending on the project, the client, and your experience. On average, freelance graphic designers earn between $20 and $100 per hour. However, your earnings can also be influenced by factors such as your skill level, the complexity of the project, and the client's budget. It's important to do your research and set fair prices for your work based on industry standards and your level of experience. Number 10. Personal Shopping Personal shopping is a side hustle that involves shopping for clients who don't have the time or expertise to do it themselves. As a personal shopper, you must have a good understanding of fashion and style and strong communication skills to understand your client's needs. To find clients, you can offer your services on freelance websites like Upwork and Freelancer, or through social media platforms. You can also reach out to local businesses or individuals who may need your services. Creating a strong portfolio showcasing your fashion sense and experience as a personal shopper is important to attract potential clients. The amount of money you can earn as a personal shopper varies depending on the client and the number of shopping trips you make. On average, personal shoppers earn between $20 and $50 per hour. However, your earnings can also be influenced by factors such as the client's budget, the complexity of the shopping trip, and any additional services you offer, such as wardrobe consultations. To be successful, Successful as a personal shopper, it's important to provide exceptional customer service and build strong relationships with your clients. This can lead to repeat business and referrals, which can increase your earnings potential over time. And, and there you have it, 10 high-paying side hustles that you can start today. As you can see, there are plenty of ways to make some extra cash on the side. Whether you're looking for a creative outlet or want to monetize your skills, there's a side hustle out there for you. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.